So I've come out to one of my local forest areas again today and uh, it's springtime here and I'm out on the trails all by myself. But the forest is just beautiful. I'd say we are absolutely at peak of spring foliage blooming here in northwest Florida. And so just the greenery of the trees that, that get green in the spring are just stunning. So it's a really nice time to photograph because it really adds some interest to this forest that is honestly a lot of the year just not that, not that nice to photograph in. So the light is really pretty right now. It's coming down towards sunset and have some really nice directional soft, soft light and it's really calm which is very very nice. So anyway I'm just going to walk down this trail and see what kind of images I can find. When the, when the forest looks like this the subjects just seem like they're everywhere. They just jump out at you and it's hard to know where to start first. So I'm hoping to find a few of those today and let's see what we can find. So I found a pretty nice subject here today. Uh, it's got the uh, nice leading line of this log going in and then that curved branch, which I think is sort of the focal point of the picture. It's what really caught my attention. So I think that's uh, all those elements come together is pretty nice. Uh, I've got my 45 to 85 lens on. I'm about 60 millimeters, uh, f22. And um, I bumped the ISO up a little bit to deal with the wind, but I'm able to shoot between the gusts pretty well. And I also have a polarizer on to take just a little bit of the sheen off the, the foliage there. Not too much, but just, just enough. Uh, there's also a little bit of shine on that log there, so that's helped to remove that. So anyway, I like this one pretty well. And now I'm going to pack up and head on down the trail and see what else I can find. So here's another subject that I just found and what's really interesting about this one and what really caught my attention was all the curved tree branches and movement in this image. Uh, in this particular forest all these pine trees are so straight that it's really tough to get any sort of dynamic sense of movement in your tree images. And so here I have some uh, main subject trees that have some really interesting curved branch shapes and then a couple of real curving sort of fallen type uh, tree branches that are that are in there as well. And all of that flow has just got some really neat movement to it. So I really like that. Now uh, you can say I've had to raise the camera way up. That's just to try to keep the sky uh, out of the picture and also to work on some mergers. There are quite a few little mergers and tension points that I was trying to work on here to get everything lined up just right. And so uh, I think I was able to do it with this high camera position. And again I'm on f22. I think it was about a one second exposure. I do have the polarizer on again and fortunately it's just dead calm right now so it's no, no problem at all with a, a long exposure like that. So anyway uh, with that uh, subject captured now I'm going to pack up and head on down the trail and see if there's anything else I can find.
I'd really hoped to do this spring forest photography after a nice rain, but it hasn't worked out that way so far. And this beautiful green foliage is only gonna last so long. So I wanted to come out and photograph now while I could. But if we get some rain in another couple of days, then that'll make the forest glow even more. And I'll have even more opportunities to come out and hopefully find some nice subjects. So I've walked past these double trunk trees many times on my normal walks through this forest, but never photographed it before. Uh, I've been just waiting for something a little more special. And I think the nice spring foliage and the nice soft light today sort of uh, really helps to, to make that something special. And um, of course the double trunk curving trees are the main subject. And then I really like the just little foreground elements with the, the log at the bottom and the, some palmettos scattered throughout. And of course the pretty green color. So. Uh, I think that all ties together pretty well. Uh, I'm not as crazy about the, the vertical trees that are just going right, sort of cutting across it. Uh, that's one thing that just happens a lot here in this forest, so you kind of have to live with it and it's hard to get away from that. But overall, I think it's a pretty nice image and it's one I'm kind of happy with. I did have to raise the camera up again pretty high uh, to get the, uh, the sky out of the picture and uh, just to, to frame it the way I wanted. Um, normally, you'd have to be careful when you put your camera, especially a heavy camera like this medium format uh, Pentax, up high on a center column. But as long as you just let it settle down for a few seconds after you've last touched it, then it's totally fine as long as the wind isn't blowing or, or some other movement inducing. So uh, once I lock up the mirror, then you just wait two or three seconds and then trip the shutter and it's always perfectly sharp that way. So it's safe to do as long as you're careful with your, with your technique. It's amazing how many compositions I was able to find today. And I saw a lot more than I, than I actually photographed as well. I walk these woods all the time and have for years. But it's amazing how just changing a couple little things like the springtime foliage coupled with the really nice soft light can just make you see an area in a whole new way. So if you've become sort of jaded to an area that you, you know, might have close to you, but you think, eh, there's nothing there, check it out under some different conditions and see, it just might surprise you with some wonderful subjects. The polarizer really helped today. I try not to use it too much because it can kind of make the leaves just like a dead mass of color. So you still want a little bit of sort of variation of tone in there, but you do want to remove the distracting shine. So hopefully I've achieved that. We'll see when I get back to the computer and look at the images, but the polars are really helped a lot, really helped to bring some life to the foliage and just made that green color really stand out. Well, I did find another subject here, and uh, this one I've walked by a few times and tried to photograph, but the light just wasn't quite right or it was too windy. But right now the conditions are just perfect. I uh, really like this uh, curving tree that's just sort of bending down and all the palmettos on the floor and then a little bit of the deer moss. And uh, I like the fact that it's framed on the right with those sort of double trunk trees. And so I just think it's a nice uh, subject and a neat composition. And I'm glad to have finally been able to capture this one today. Well, 
Well, that's it for another one of my photographing close to home in Northwest Florida videos. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been enjoying bringing you these videos from the local area, especially when we all can't get out and travel right now. So it's nice to be out here in the spring. This is when my area looks really nice with that spring foliage. So whenever it is in your area that it looks extra special, try to make some time to get out there make some images that you're really proud of. If you've enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.